Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick and easy empanada gallega de atún or a Galician pie. Before we jump into it, be sure to like the video down below, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already, and let's get going. Before we start any of the work, you're going to get a pot of water on the stove to hot boil a couple eggs. You're going to take about 400 grams of tuna and we're going to strain it. And while that's straining, you're going to take your onions, you're going to cut your onions in half, then we're going to julienne the onions. Then you're going to take a saute pan and you're going to add a little bit of oil. You're going to get the pan nice and hot. We're going to add the onions and while the onions are sauteing, then we're going to do the other mise en place. Add a bit of salt, and then we're going to move. Give them a bit of a toss. Now we're gonna peel and de-seed the tomatoes. You can either do one, the traditional method, by scoring the tomatoes, put an X on the bottom of them, get a pot of hot water and bring it up to a boil. You're going to drop the tomatoes in for 15, 20 seconds. Then you're gonna take them out, put them in a pot of ice water or cold running water and then you're going to peel them or you can do the fast method and take a peeler and literally just peel the tomatoes after we peel the tomatoes now we can de-seed you're going to cut in half and then you can cut in half again if you want and we can take the knife just like this and take them out or like I said in another video you can take a spoon and you're just going to cut into the bottom and scoop them out then after you've taken the seeds out, well, you can dice them. I'm going to stack a couple pieces and just cut them. Now we're going to be de-seeding and dicing the peppers. Now you can add more than just one if you want to. You don't have to use just one. But it's all to your preference. Add the peppers in. Saute the peppers and the onions. Now we're going to take a clove of garlic, cut off the end, smash it, and we're going to mince. Now you can add the garlic and the tomatoes. Be sure to add a little sugar to it to counteract the acidity of the tomatoes. Now we're going to let this cook for another 15 to 20 minutes on medium heat. Keep an eye on it, keep moving it. And now we're going to take the eggs that we cooked earlier, hard boiled eggs, and we're going to crack them. Then you can slice your eggs any way you like. If you have an egg slicer, it's a lot uh, faster. After about 15 minutes, you're going to turn off the fire for your mix and you're going to add the tuna. Add it all in. We're going to give it a mix. Try not to smash it too much. Then you're going to strain the rest of the mixture. We want to drain all the oil that was in the pan. Don't throw it away just yet because you can reuse this if you want. Now one important thing, you want to let this sit and cool down. It's very important to add this to the dough when it's cold, not hot. All right, to start the dough, you're going to take 530 grams of white flour. Then we're going to add about 10 grams of salt to the flour and you can add a little less if you want. Then we're going to take six grams of active live yeast to 200 milliliters of lukewarm water. Just add it to the water, then you can mix with a fork or with whatever. Now we're going to add the yeast and the water, and we're also gonna add the oil that we saved from straining the tuna. Then you're going to put in the mixer, if you have one, and mix for about 10 minutes. If it needs a little bit more water, then add just a little bit more to it, the mix. And if you don't have a mixer, like me, you get to exercise for the next 10 minutes.
Okay, after about 10 minutes of exercising, I mean mixing, you're going to knead it into a ball. You can put a little bit of extra flour on the board if you need to, but you're going to shape it into a ball. Then we're going to put it back in the bowl that we first put it in, and we're going to cover it with a bit of clear film, and then we're going to let it sit in a warm place for about about one hour, and then we're going to come back and finish it. After your dough is risen, we're going to take it out of the bowl, and now we're going to cut it. We're going to divide it into two pieces, one for the top and one for the bottom. You want to try to shape it into a rectangle. Also, try to get it as thin as you possibly can. All right, the first piece you're going to place on the oven tray, unless you have another tray you can use, but this is wide enough to put it. I'm also using some wax paper that I'm putting below it. Be sure to preheat your oven to 200 before you start. Then you're going to take the cold tuna and the mixer that you have, and you're going to evenly distribute it over the entire area. Then I'm going to lay my eggs. You can put in any way that you want to decorate it. Okay. Now you can take the other piece that you have and you're going to roll the top. Alright, we're going to make a quick egg wash. Crack an egg. A little bit of salt and whisk. Before we add the top, you're going to take the egg wash and a little brush if you have it and you're just going to go around all the edges because the egg helps combine the two pieces of dough together. It acts like a glue. You're going to take the other piece, you're going to lay it on top. Now you're going to pull the sides and we're going to fold. Give it a little bit of an egg wash if you want, so it sticks together, because right now you're going to make a decorative little pattern around the border. Also, if you have some leftovers, you can roll them out into strips, and then I'm going to braid them. It's totally optional. Once you have the borders all set, you can egg wash the spots that you're going to put the uh, decoration. I'm going to do it on the ends. Then I'm going to lay them down. If it's a little too much. And Once you're ready, then you're going to egg wash the entire thing. So once you're all done decorating the pie, be sure to put it in the middle part of the oven. And remember, it's about at 200 degrees. You're going to put it in for about 25 to 30 minutes. It may take even a little longer. About halfway through, once you have a decent amount of coloring on the top, you're going to put some tin foil on it. And then after about the 25, 30 minute mark, you're gonna take it out and check it and to make sure that the pastry is done. Once it's finished, you're going to let it rest and then you're ready to serve. Now, I do suggest that if you have the ability to buy some of the pre-made empanada dough, it can help save you, trust me, a lot of time making it. But if you want to impress some friends or family, then you should definitely make it yourself because it's better quality. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Like the video down below, and I'll see you again very soon.